It's so much cooler on the plot today. Last time I was up here it was like Sudan. It was baking. But today it's overcast, there's a gentle breeze in the air and conditions are a lot more favourable for me anyhow. A lot more workable. Right, as you know uh, this is the weekly update, although I didn't put a video out last week. Um, laziness, that's all. I've come up and I've noticed a few things that are going on on the plot that I'm going to show you. I'm up here to finish planting out some leeks that I started the other day. I've got one more row to do, I'll show you how I do that. And it's the usual plot update. We've had a couple of decent nights of rain, which has really pushed things along. Pushed the flowers along, pushed the plants along, pushed the weeds along as well, which is obviously not a bonus. Anyhow, there are good things happening. Let me show you. The peas are starting to fatten up. They won't be far away now. In fact, I've been taking a couple while I've been here, just as you do. A bit like strawberry picking, just picking the peas off. Popping them in my mouth. You can see that the bamboo canes are groaning under the weight of the actual plants. It won't be long before that cane snaps, I don't think. But yeah, they are definitely making headway now. Perfect. Very sweet. The French climbing beans are living up to their name. They are finally snaking their way up the bamboo canes. And some are even starting to flower. The Sapo Mira are looking good. Seven rows. And some are beginning to flower as well. Now my onions are doing particularly well. Which is a surprise because a couple of videos ago they were looking very poorly. So I don't know whether this recent spell of rain that we've had has just perked them all up. But they look a lot better. And I've got one particular big one, if you pardon the expression, that is doing pretty well. There we go. Not bad. He'll be in the pot soon. The carrots and parsnips are doing well. Carrots to the left. Nantes variety, or Nantes. And the parsnips are on the right. My spring onions are doing really well. This is the best I've ever grown them. Although I guess you can't really call them spring onions as we're in July. I probably won't be eating these until maybe late August, but I'm pretty happy with their progress. And here's an overall view of that bed. Onions, carrots, parsnips, beetroot. Ooh, let me show you the Brussels sprouts. This is the hideous uh, construction that I put them under. Because I knew if I didn't, the pigeons would be straight into them. But let's have a look. Let's see how we're getting on. Well, that's not too bad. Go and have a look at the last video and see how small they were when I planted them. There's a second. Yeah, they're coming along. 
I'm pretty happy with that. So this is one of my giant sunflowers. I would say that it's coming up to five feet tall. And there's the rest of the flower bed. Dahlias, I think, are going to make an appearance despite them being attacked by, I don't know, blackfly maybe, some kind of aphid. And these are, I think, Coreopsis. So yeah, mini sunflowers I guess. I've got some more giant sunflowers growing in this bottom bed here. Two smaller ones there which were planted I would say two or three weeks after some of these big ones. For example this one here. I would say that's four foot tall. Some beetroot loving it with the weeds and then coming on to this sunflower I noticed although I've put a stake a bamboo cane next to those two I haven't tied them up and uh, that big one down there I have tied up but I was looking at this one here and thinking why isn't his stem as thick there's that one there, and why isn't he as tall as that one there? Let me show you what I've done and what this poor plant has had to put up with. That there is too tight. And that one there is actually cutting into the stem of the plant itself. So I'm going to cut that one, cut that one, and offer up my apologies to this poor sunflower. So I need to cut back the looping. It's done its business for this year. Put on a wonderful display earlier. I need to take these seed pods off. Probably take it down to to about there so I'd say about 12 inches from the ground and then I might keep some of these seed and have a go at growing another loop in maybe for my back garden next year As you can see, the Atlantic Giant Pumpkin has definitely picked up if you compare it to the last video. Those leaves are still slightly infected, I don't know whether that's a fungus or, or whatever, but I gave it a bit of a feed, a bit of a mulch. It's got some compost, I put some 6x there for it to feed on for a while. There's a pumpkin there. 
and a small one there. Let's have a look at that one there. Hopefully, though, this one will be the main one that I'll concentrate on once it establishes itself. I'm going to leave it a couple of weeks just to see if it does fatten up. But I'm pleased that the plant is having a go. Now I just need to finish planting this last row of leeks, then this bed is done for the year. Now that's what I did a couple of days ago. I did three rows of leeks, as you can see. They look nothing at the moment, just wispy blades of grass, but believe me, if they take, they grow into some monsters. Anyhow, here's the pot of the remainder of the leeks that I've got to plant. I'm not going to use up all of these, I've only got about six holes to do. So yeah, you just take them out of the pot and drop them into the hole. Let me try doing this one-handed. So there's your leak. There's the hole. Drop it in. And then move along to the next hole. That's the row I've just done. You can see a leak placed in each hole. Don't backfill the hole, just fill it up with water and then let nature do the rest. Sorry, I've just got to show you this. Excitement levels have just become stratospheric because that is my very own lava ladybird. A stage before they turn in to the ladybird. These are the ones you want to keep on your plot because they eat black fly and all aphids. So these are the goodies. Don't kill these people. I've just taken the fleece off the uh, Calabrese plants. You may, re may remember that I planted, I don't know, three or four videos ago. Well, they kind of became entombed in the fleece and the leaves were bending over. Now they're still kind of bent over, but this netting is very loose and does have some give on it. So it will just allow them to push up and push along further. Just give them a bit more headroom, a bit more growing space and it won't be long before I see some broccoli coming on these bad boys. Well that concludes another visit to the plot. Everything is in full swing now. The peas are coming on, broad beans need picking. Um, what else? Yeah, the sunflowers are having a go. French climbing beans as you saw making their way up to canes. Right, that's it. Thank you for joining me if you have, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now. Oh yeah, one last thing I did forget to mention. I've just picked a couple of raspberries from the plot. 
they should go nice with some custard later on this evening. Right, that really is it. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.